Hello, my name is Abdul Mati Asiri and I would like to welcome in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. In this video, I'd like to, to continue talking about the uh, brakes, but uh, this video will talk about the brake temperature after landing. Now, uh, as a first officer, I used to beat myself up after landing if I see the brake temperature gets to around 3.5 units and increasing. And if I used to fly with the captain, that amplifies the uh, the level of tension because the captain gets anxious as well, especially for new captains or some of the old captains even. But anyways, the uh, brake temperature or the brakes are not considered hot brakes until they reach uh, 4.9 units or higher. And that is where is the uh, brake temperature caution light is illuminated as well. And personally, from my experience in the airplane, I haven't seen the temperature goes to above 3.9 or 4.0 units. I've seen it twice above 4.0 units and it was extreme cases. So you need to apply really serious heartbreaking to reach a temperature of 4.1 or 4.2 and above. So to reach heartbreaks condition is 4.9. And this is the definition mentioned in the FCOM as well in the system description. If you uh, check it, it starts talking about the uh, overheated uh, brakes at 4.9 units and above. So uh, usually when the, uh, when, when the captain uh, releases the park brake after the trucks are being inserted, the brake temperature will start decreasing. And remember, you need to wait 15 minutes after landing to make sure that you are reading the correct temperature of the brakes. Now, at a temperature of 3.5 units or higher, you start seeing smoke coming out of the brake and that should be considered normal. Again, it's not a hot brake yet, as, at least as per the definition of the FCA. Now, a discussion that comes up usually with, with, uh, with new pilots and some of the old pilots as well is, don't we need to apply the brake cooling schedule tables in the FCA? And my personal opinion, my understanding, my analysis of the, of the situation is the uh, brake cooling uh, schedule tables are to be used only if you are doing an RTO. So if you performed an RTO, then you need to uh, comply with the brake cooling schedule tables. The second situation is if the brake temperature caution light is eliminated after landing, then you need to apply the, uh, the uh, cooling schedule. And the third is if you uh, performed uh, an upper max landing weight landing, then you need to apply the quick turnaround time limits in the FCOM. So those are the three situations that I see that are requiring you to refer and comply with the brake cooling schedule tables. Now, up to 4.9, and above, as I said, those are the uh, hot brakes. Me personally, I like to treat 4.0 as my personal limit. So if I see the brakes reaching 4.0, I'll delay the takeoff slightly, leaving the brakes off before starting the engines until they go below 4.0. And then I set the parking brake and start doing the, uh, the before start and starting the engines. Usually the brake temperature will not increase from the time that you set the parking brake to the time that you do the takeoff. Actually, they will decrease if you are doing the taxi with not much traffic in the airport. And that brings me to a second point, which is uh, some of the pilots, there is a technique that is, uh, that is there, which is to leave the landing gear down after takeoff to make sure that the brakes get enough cooling before the next landing. Uh, I am not in favor of this technique. I don't see the point of leaving the landing gear down. Uh, I have monitored the brake temperature after takeoff and they usually go uh, or decrease by 0.2 units after takeoff. So if you are taken off with brakes of temperature less than 4.0, less, uh, less than 3.5, then they will not increase as you retract the gear. And then for the next landing, remember, you'll uh, lower the landing gear eight miles final. So that's gonna be about three minutes with the landing gear in the air and the brakes are cooled anyways for the next 
landing. So I don't see the point personally and I have a concern regarding the takeoff performance of the airplane with the gear down and not retracting it and not retracting the landing gear at the, at the right time which is the positive rate. So I don't know, something to, to think about and the whole point of the video is next time or if you are doing a recurrent or the subject comes up in discussion between you and your training captain or something at least now you have a good idea about the subject and to take the discussion to the next level and please leave a comment let me know what you think and if you had, had this discussion in in the past with your training captain or uh, simulator instructor please please let me know again there's not much mentioned about this topic and I think it is it is critical because I see a lot of pilots get very anxious when the uh, brake temperature goes above 3.0 or 3.5 units which is in my opinion and as per the description as per the uh, the definition in the FCOM those are not hot brakes so uh, yeah so this is uh, what I wanted to talk about the uh, brake temperature again uh, please leave a comment don't forget to uh, give me your feedback about the subject and until next time this is Adamata Asiri I wish you safe flying and smooth Danny, thank you for watching.